I'm joined by Queensland Senator Matt Canavan and Tasmanian Senator Jackie Lambie. I found it very difficult to separate you two during the break. It was, it was on like Donkey Kong. Um, <laughs> both sides, both different sides of this budget. Um, Matt, um, you're obviously going to be supporting every measure. Um, it, there's an awful lot riding on a vaccine, though. Well, look, obviously we, we'll be better off with the vaccine, but this is a budget that does uh, plan for the worst but hope for the best. Uh, of course we're hoping for the best. We've put money aside to invest in a vaccine for all Australians to have access to. But, but the budget does say there is a risk, there is a downside risk here, that if a vaccine is not developed, obviously the economy will be hurt. But the measures we've got in place to help attract investment, to cut taxes, mm. will help cushion the economy, whatever happens. Well, if the vaccine doesn't come, you're going to take us even more into the red. Well, of course, so we'll have to just keep supporting the economy. Mm. As I said, right now, uh, investing in our economy, getting back to work is more important than paying taxes, and that's what we're focused on. OK, Jackie, um, everything that you saw last night, will you approve it? Oh, look, I think, um, you know, I'm a bit right about the tax cuts. I would have liked to see that in reverse, that the people at this end actually got more than the people at this end. I think that would have been a lot more common sense. They do spend in their local community um, and that, that keeps that um, ticking over. I would have liked to have seen some change over that. I think there is some holes in it I'm really worried about. I mean, you're talking about tradies out there and 100 odd thousand new positions, but yet I don't see any bloody money or hardly any money for the TAFEs, mate. They're absolutely depleted. So for me, it's 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 just not it, a lot of it's not quite adding up. There seems to be part of those puzzles to get to those points. There's missing points along the way, and that to me is quite right. So you need a bit more time, but at this point, um, you're going to wait and see, and you're going to pick holes in the in that budget, and, and you're not going to oh, prove everything. I would like to see those tax cuts by themselves without being chucked in an omnibus. Mm. And, and you know, I so said if you don't, if you don't vote for everything, then nothing's going to get through. Mm. There's nothing worse than ramming something down our throats. So I find that quite difficult. But you've got to do something. You've got to do something pretty effectively, don't you? How will you respond to that, man? Well, what we've got to... The Senate can decide what it wants to do for a yeah. start, right? So, But what we've got to do here is help people get back into the economy. Now, those paying more tax at the moment are those at higher income levels. So when you cut taxes, people at higher income levels tend to get uh, more of a benefit because they were paying more tax to begin mm. with. But we've got to, we've got to at the moment, prioritise jobs, prioritise investment over tax. That is the most important thing for our economy right now, regardless of whether a vaccine is developed Wouldn't or not. the most simple thing have been to do um, is just to extend JobKeeper? I mean, uh, surely We can't that's... keep doing this forever, mate. Like, the JobKeeper costs us $10 billion a month. Mm. We have people and businesses. I was, at a, I was at a farm last week in Emerald who, is, who are destroying trees, destroying mature citrus trees because they don't have enough workers. Mm. We cannot continue to pay people to stay on the couch. We've got to get back to work because otherwise we will soon run out of money uh, to help people out. Mm. Um, Jackie? Yeah, I would have seen, uh, especially for agriculture out there, um, you know, a bit more incentive for those people uh, to get off those job seekers and uh, those people that are still on job keeper that don't have jobs to go back to, a bit more encouragement to get them out there, especially for a bit picking the fruit and that over the summer period. You saw the debacle um, in, in Victoria with aged care. Is enough? Did you see enough in that budget last night to try and fix that problem? Um, well, when you're looking at those home packages and you're saying you're offering another, I think, a 29,000, but you've still got 100,000 on the waiting list, it's like, well, how about you get through that first and you get those home care packages out to them? It's taking way too long to do that. Uh, do we have the workforce for that at the moment? I doubt it. Once again, they need to go back to TAFEs. They know those arts degrees, mate, yeah. to encourage them to go into those fields. So when you, when you are putting those arts degrees up more than double and trying to encourage people to do that, good luck with that. But Jackie makes a good point. I mean, TAFEs, uh, TAFEs have been struggling there for a lot of years and, and there's such an important place. And why, why, was such a, why was there such a small spend? Well, there's a huge spend in getting apprentices going. Jackie mentioned 100,000 apprentices. That's going to help the TAFEs because the businesses who are putting and paying for those apprentices mm. with a 50% government subsidy will be using TAFEs and helping their business. Now, I also think Jackie uh, pinpointed the issue in aged care on the workforce. That's the most important issue. And that's why last night we've added the extra bonus payments mm. to frontline workers. They're the people we've got to support. Anastasia Palaszczuk um, hit the ground running yesterday announcing the election. Um, you must be... It must vex you a little bit um, that despite having really taken her apart for the last 12 months, she's going to romp it in? Mate, I think this election is very, very close. We've seen the last week Anastasia Palaszczuk visit a coal mine, go to Mount Isa, do a deal with Adani. Mm. She's desperately trying to say she now supports the mining sector, mm. which upholds Queensland's economy and creates jobs. But everybody sees through that in Queensland. You, mate, you, know, you know that we've got pretty good BS detectors up there. And what the Premier's got on with the last week is a whole lot of smoke screen and cover did, to try and cover the fact that she doesn't support jobs. Did you see the, the I mean, she, she is a country it's mile close. in front. It's close, mate. It's, it's in the margin of error. It is. You, you cannot call this election right now. Jackie, it's going to be very, very close. Oh, 
I think Anastasia's going to romp it in, there's yeah. no doubt about that. You've got to have a strong opposition leader and, uh, look, most people don't even know who, uh, who Deb, whatever her name is, don't even know who she is, to be honest well, with you. Well, you're, you're, so, you're not there. No, you don't know. <laughs> people in I Queensland know. Yeah. Well, I think when you're watching it happening all the time and all you see is Anastasia out there, she's yeah. out there every day, she's out there spruiking, she's out there doing her and job. And she kept the borders up, Jackie. And she kept the borders That's up. That's all she's I, done half five honest. years in government. Might be enough. One thing, kept the borders well, you know shut. That's it. That's it. It's That's been, it. It's That's been enough record. for the Liberal Premier <laughs> down in, in Tasmania to keep his um, stats right up to him, mate. So I, it's working. I can't record. believe you've still got a job after your Black Coal Matters <laughs> drive yesterday. <laughs> Mate, well, uh, look, if, if people can't take a joke anymore, what, what have we come to, right? And I fully support those blokes in central Queensland sticking up for their jobs and their industry. Good on them. OK, good to see you guys. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for having me on. And I'd like to see you in person too, Jackie. I know. I'm what waiting about for, me? I'm waiting for my... Don't bugger you. <laughs> <laughs>